Friday community, but I would like to tell you what you already know. She loved you all so, so much. After spending years in exile, she could have chosen to settle but anywhere in the world. But she chose to return to you. She believed in the very essence of this little town, the resilience of this beautiful people, and the warmth of its soil. Yes, she loved her home. To the entire nation and the ANC family, I would like you to know that she loved you too. She never stopped believing in this country and all of its potential. When she was in hospital recently, she, cho she told Archbishop Mokoba that she has not finished the program for this country because people have not liberated themselves. As far as Ruth was concerned, democracy may have been achieved, but her dream for a better life for all, not quite yet. May Ruth, as she was affectionately known, is among those women and men who leave a permanent footprint on the history of their people. May Ruth is one such woman who is both a product and a maker of history. Here at home and globally, and the story is one of bravery, of discipline, and of dedication. She left us with tools to contribute to build a new and better life for all our people. The South African freedom struggle had no better pioneer. She, above all, symbolized the all-round revolutionary whose passion for freedom is combined with the tools to understand the mantra of triple oppression, lived by women and the true nature of capital, and what strategies and energies were required in order to destroy it and to put in its place a worthy but different social order. Meru's hated the triple oppression she experienced, experienced by women that is, which is racial oppression, economic exploitation, and gender discrimination. And she rejected racialism in all its forms whether expressed in white arrogance or black chauvinism. Only two months ago, we were here at Okonebu Perinma province and laid to rest the mortal remains of our stalwarts and icons of the liberation struggle, Comrade J.P. Marx and Comrade Moses Kotan. We have gathered here today again, sadly, to pay our last respects to yet another icon of our struggle and a distinguished South African and patriot Mama Ruth Sikhumotsi Mumbati. Indeed, this province has produced outstanding leaders. <laughs> who make us truly proud to be South Africans 
and to be Africans. We are gathered here not only to mourn, but to celebrate her life, which was totally dedicated to the struggle for freedom, justice, equality, and the quest for a better life for all, especially the poor. When people talk about Mayor Ruth Mupati, they are filled with joy and inspiration. That is because this proud African and progressive internationalist brought hope and progress in our lives and in our country. We have had very detailed account of how she interacted with all of us. Fellow mourners and fellow Africans and friends, today, just two days before Africa Day, we celebrate our African identity and our pride at having produced such a selfless, committed, dedicated, and much loved revolutionary and freedom fighter as the African people in the African continent. We testify without any fear of contradiction that here lies a towering giant in the struggle for the freedom and democracy that we enjoy today, which came about three through the blood, sweat, and tears of thousands of our people, as well as many freedom-loving people within Africa and in the globe. Here lies an outstanding leader with an exemplary life which is an embodiment of the principles and values of the liberation movement. She lived these values of unity, selflessness, sacrifice, collective leadership, humility, honesty, discipline, hard work, and mutual respect. This was Meruth, let me repeat this <clears throat> for all of us to hear and take it, to use it for our own so that we can be good human beings. She lived these values of unity, selflessness, sacrifice, collective leadership, humility, honesty, discipline, hard work, and mutual respect. How many of us have all these today? And here lies a leader who was totally committed to the vision of creating a truly united, non-racial, non-sexist, democratic, and prosperous South Africa. Mama Ruth, we salute you. You succeeded and made your mark in every task you were given by the liberation movement. And you never allowed obstacles to stand in your way. The greatest honor we can bestow on Meruth is for us to draw lessons from her life that will make us better human beings. This means that we should revive and promote in ourselves and in our communities 
the supreme ideals that she held dear. We should promote unity, respect for one another, patriotism, non-racialism, tolerance, and equality for men and women. In Meruth, we had a comrade, a leader. We had a mother, a sister. We had a person easy to approach. We had a colleague ready to air her views when she had views, but not to say anything if she did not have any view. I would like to extend our deepest condolences to the family, relatives, the organization she loved with all her heart, the ANC and the alliance partners. Allow me also to extend deepest condolences to the family on behalf of our former president, Comrade Tabombek. He has asked me to convey to the family that condolences and apologize that he was not able to attend this final occasion of Comrade Ruth because of certain circumstances beyond his control, which have prevented him, prevented him from bidding the final farewell to a person that he has known so many years, an outstanding leader that he, was work, that he has worked with for many decades. He wishes the family strength during this difficult period. Fellow South Africans, we salute our mother our leader, our teacher, a gallant fighter, a brave warrior, a true patriot, and an outstanding South African and African. Rest in peace, Mama Ruth. You have fought a good fight. We have finished the race in literal sense, and you have kept the faith. Up. Huh.